Hi folks, this video covers Unit 6, Exercise 4, A Closer Look at Illustrator. You want to launch Illustrator and create a new art artboard, so File, New, we're going to name it Exercise 4, Underscore, and then put your last name. Going to have one artboard in the document, and we're going to set it to six inches by six inches. Keep the color mode and everything else the same, and say OK. Get my document in view here. OK. Next thing you're going to want to do is set the workspace to Essentials, which mine already is. That will be in your upper right area um, of the control panel up here. Mine is kind of off the screen, so you won't see mine. But um, if yours isn't set to work to Essentials, you can also go to Window, Workspace, Essentials, or even Reset Essentials. Okay. Place a photo of choice onto the artboard. So you'll go to File, Place, and then navigate out to where you might have a photo that you want to use for this exercise. I'm going to use this photo of a chicken the crazy yellow background. Now if your photo comes in this large, you're definitely going to want to make it smaller and you can do that by scaling it. Double clicking the scale tool and hitting 70% uniform. And if it's still larger, the way I describe for you to do it in your instructions is to use the selection tool, select your image, hold down shift and hover over the lower right hand corner of the bounding box. Click and drag. And the reason for holding down shift is to keep it so that it's proportionately scaled and then move it to the center of your artboard. Okay. Okay, now we're going to go to the type tool. And then you want to type your name in the image or above the image here in Calibri Bold 36 point. So once you type it, you can do a control A to select all. Go up to your character panel and um, or the control panel and type in Calibri. And you want that to be bold. And then you want that to be 36 points. So it makes it quite large here. I'm going to center that in my paragraph um, area in the control panel and then deselect. Then if you go to your selection tool, if you are, aren't already there, you're going to want to um, select the type and then create outlines. And what this does is this allows us to then treat this as art. So of course you can you can change the color on it, whatever you wish to do, um, as long as you're in the fill over here, and then deselect. But now these this is art, you cannot edit it as a font or as type because it's now um, paths in Illustrator used as artwork. Okay. Now what we did here is we placed in an image, and the primary um, reason for this exercise is to help you understand that. Um, Illustrator works based on vector art and its purposes for vector art. So um, this here is not vector. It is a placed pixel image from Photoshop um, or any other image application. Um, so what we want to do is after we create our text into art, um, we then want to create our image into art um, vector artwork as well. Um, and just so you know, if you do send something out from Illustrator to any type of um, output vendor, like a printer, um, 
if you create outlines, they, they then cannot edit your work, which is a great thing so that you kind of safeguard against them changing things on you. Um, and also, they don't need the fonts required um, that one might have to send along with it in order for them to open. So when they open it, they'll view your fonts exactly the way that you want them in the right font if it is um, set to vector. And when you create outlines, it does that. Okay, so the next step is um, view the image trace panel by going to Window, Image Trace. And now we have the image trace panel right here. You can also access the image trace in your control panel. If you select your, your image, you can see it up here, but I like to have the panel open because it gives us a wide variety of options. Um, a lot less than what you see immediately up here in the control panel when it's selected. And this is the great thing about Adobe. They give you ton, context, context, content sensitive um, options and functions whenever you select on something. Okay, so I'm selected on my image and the next thing we want to do is um, select the image with the selection tool, then apply a preset in the image trace panel, which is right here, of 16 colors and a palette of full tone. So we'll go down to 16 colors. And it takes a little while to then change the pixels into, vector, into vectors. Okay, and you see that it changed your image quite a bit. Now what we're going to do is um, change the palette to full tone. And that as well takes a little bit of time to smooth the path. And you notice that it goes back to the way that it originally looked. Um, it does look a little different because it's actually tracing it. It's not exactly the way you want it um, or the way that it, it appeared as a, as a pixel image, but it's close enough and we get real close here um, in the image trace feature here in um, Illustrator. Okay, now what you'll do is while keeping um, the image selected, you want to go up to the control panel up here and then go ahead and expand it. Expanding is basically saying, okay, I'm good with the way it looks. I'm now expanding these um, paths to become vectors in Illustrator. So when you see, when I select all the image in general, you see all the paths and all the, um, the shapes that have been traced and created vectors within Illustrator. Okay, remember the selection tool, when you select an image, it selects everything. Um, the direct selection tool only selects a path or an anchor point at a time. So what we're going to do next is um, using the direct selection tool to box select a series of shapes on your image and change their color to something noticeably contrasting, bright green or otherwise. Um, so if you're at the direct selection tool, you then can just box select, which is kind of an in, invisible select. And then I want you to change the color of those paths to something bright. It's up to you what color you want that to be. I'm just going to choose sort of this green color. And then um, that's it, basically. So turn off your swatches, you can close out of your image trace if you want or not, um, deselect, and this just teaches you, this exercise teaches you that indeed you're able to adjust a photo um, that was once pixelated and brought into Illustrator and made into um, vector format. So now go ahead and um, save your file, file, save as, and it defaults to the way we named it when we initially created the document. Save it to somewhere that you're familiar, and that's what you'll upload into um, the JetNet submission link for this week's exercise. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next video.